Over the last decade, ion beam therapy has been spreading worldwide, with more than 90 centers already in operation and about 45 new facilities under construction. In this international context, Medostron, in cooperation with the National Physical Laboratory, NPL, based in the UK, offers a dosimetry audit service based on end-to-end -end testing procedures to the radiation therapy community. Our initiative is embedded into a collaboration between Medalstron and the National Physical Laboratory in the UK. Since 2016 at Medalstron, we are performing end-to-end -end tests with protons and carbon ions at four different bin lines. Based on our experience at Medalstron, we decided to offer our dosimetry audit service to the ion beam therapy community. The dosimetry audit, based on end-to-end -end testing procedures, aims to assess the complete radiotherapy procedure when all treatment steps are applied to anthropomorphic phantoms. The purpose of end-to-end -end testing is to confirm that the entire logistic chain of radiation treatment, starting from imaging, treatment planning, monitor calibration, patient positioning and beam delivery, leads to the desired results with sufficient accuracy. End-to-end -end tests are performed with the anthropomorphic phantoms that allow to place detectors in different locations over the irradiation area like alanine pellets and gaffchromic films and thus perform simultaneous verification of delivery accuracy of planned absorbed dose at many points. As for real patients, CT imaging of the immobilized phantom is performed in order to calculate a treatment plan. The immobilization of the phantom follows the local procedure of the audited institution and is performed by the staff of the audited center. The CT scan for the head phantom is acquired with predefined scan protocols used at the center for cranial treatments. Then we are performing the CT according to the protocol selected and exporting the CT images from the CT console to the treatment planning system. In the treatment planning system, the treatment plans are generated by the user from the audited institution with the supervision of the auditors. A 3D anatomical model of the phantom is created based on the CT images and the treatment plan is designed to follow the clinical prescription. Different test cases are planned. One beam plans and two beam plans with and without range shifter inserted in the beam line. Here, for example, we can see the resulting dose distribution and irradiation geometry for two opposing beams in the head phantom. After review, the plan is exported to the record and verify system and ready for treatment. The phantom loaded with alanine detectors and gaffchromic films is immobilized on the treatment couch. Two planar X-ray images or a cone beam CT are acquired depending on the local procedure at the audited center. A 2D 3D or 3D 3D image registration is performed with on-the-fly digitally reconstructed radiographs from the CT scan. A set of correction vector based on image registration is calculated and applied to the couch movement. After confirmation that the position of the phantom in the room is in agreement with the treatment plan, the irradiation of the phantom is performed. The same procedure is applied a second time with an ionization chamber allocated in one of the cavities of the phantom. An independent thermometer and barometer are used during the measurements to correct the ionization chamber reading. The alanine detectors and the gaffchromic films are then unloaded from the irradiated phantom. The alanine detectors are packed and sent to the National Physical Laboratory for the readout. The results of the independent dosimetry audit will be provided to the audited institution in a signed report. 
In the last years, several European centers have been audited and others are under planning. On the top, we are developing a new audit service also for carbon ion beams. Our main goal is to establish our dosimetry audit service as a part of a credentialing procedure for future patient clinical trials in ion beam therapy within Europe.